So I am on the hunt again. Uh, my son was supposed to be going with me on this hunt, but as I prepared to walk out the door, he looked at me and he said, Dad, you have to go on your own. So <laughs> I am going to venture out and I'm going to try to hit up a couple of comic shops here uh, locally to me. One of them is in Castro Valley and one is in Union City. I'm primarily going to be picking up my pull list, but such is the case with me typically is that I head into a comic shop intending to do one thing, but typically uh, take some time to look around, to have some conversations and to see if there's some other things there that might be of interest. So that's the plan. And uh, as you guys know, I will try to capture as much footage as I possibly can. So the very first shop that we're going to hit is one called Crush Comics in Castro Valley. You guys have probably seen Crush in several of my videos uh, previously. This is a shop that is part of my regular routine. I have a pull list with them. I dig the owners. I dig the folks that work in the shop. And so we're going to head over here and uh, see if we can make some magic with these guys. So one of the things that I really enjoy about the hunt is that you never quite know what you're going to experience when you hit up a comic shop. Even if it's a comic shop that you've been to before, because they can always surprise you, you know? Sometimes I'll go to a comic shop expecting to go in and pick up uh, my pull list and all of a sudden I'm in this in-depth conversation where we are literally, you know, throwing out theories and, you know, concepts that we've cooked up related to the latest story. Or I'll walk in and there'll be a collection there that has recently come in that hasn't even been priced or graded and I have an opportunity to go through it. Sometimes I'll walk in and, and just have just a great interaction with someone who recognizes me from the YouTube machine. Uh, but that's one of the really great things about being able to go to a local comic shop and hang out and to have a, an experience. And, and occasionally, I just go in, grab my books, and leave. Sometimes that actually happens, but more often than not, it is it is more of more of an experience. And so, I am sitting outside of Crush Comics right now here in Castro Valley. I'm going to head inside. I have no clue, no clue what's about to happen but I'm certain that I'll have a good time.
So I just finished up here at Crush and no sooner that I said it than it actually happened. I walk in, there are actually two collections in there that have recently come into the shop. One has been purchased and I was able to go through that and actually uh, pull out a book or two for myself out of that collection that's been purchased. There was another one that is still in the works of negotiation that I also was able to go through and identify one book uh, that I want for the collection. So it's just amazing. Again, you, you never know what to expect when you walk into a comic shop. And not only did I go through two collections or at least two long boxes, but also had a great conversation with the shop owner. So uh, we are finished up here. I am about to run back home because I was supposed to be going to the post office for my wife. And I left the house without the things that she needed me to mail for her. So I need to run home, grab those things before I head to the next comic shop, uh, which is going to be one over in Union City. So uh, bear with me. I need to make a detour and then we'll get back on the hunt. I am back in the comic book room and ready to show you guys some of the books that I picked up earlier today. Today was honestly an awesome day. I had a blast with the family, but I also ran into a subscriber of the channel. There was a guy by the name of Moses who I guess reached out to me a couple of weeks ago, told me he was coming to the Bay Area. I guess I gave him some recommendations for some shops to check out and he actually hit up a couple of the shops and he actually ran into me in one of the shops. And it was one of those things that I think was meant to be. You know, as you heard earlier in the video, I was supposed to do something for the wife. I forgot it at home. I had to come back home. And by the time I did, I was hungry. So I had some food. I grabbed what I needed. And then I ventured back out. I ran that errand. And then I ran into Moses. And so it's just one of those things that it must have uh, been meant to be. So shout out to you, Moses. I am glad that you were able to pick up some awesome comics while you were visiting. And I'm glad that you were able to pick up those books from a couple of the, of the shops that I recommend. So with that, let's go ahead and dig into the books. I'll tell you that every single book that I'm about to show you is a modern book. Uh, there's one of the shops that I hadn't been to in a couple of weeks. So these books, while modern, are a little old and dated, but I'm going to show you nevertheless. But I will tell you, you want to stay tuned because there is something in this video that you are going to want to see. The first book, Immortal Hulk number 22. Absolutely love this series. Absolutely love these covers and uh, definitely pleased to have picked that book up. Picked up uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 27. This is a book that has been on my pull list like Immortal Hulk since the very beginning. Two copies of 28. There are two copies of Venom 17. An awesome, awesome series by Donny Cates. And just before anyone says anything, Vika, before anyone says anything, this is a tie-in to Absolute Carnage, but it is also a book that was already on my pull list. So there you go. <laughs> there is the, uh, the Venom Annual number one. Uh, I think this one's really cool because they actually, on the cover... And I, I don't know that I've seen this in a while. They actually say that the origin of a character is being told in the comic. And that's like an old school thing, you know, with the text on the cover and the uh, and the declaration of an of an origin. Uh, next, we're probably going to see, you know, Marvel's next superstar or something like that on the cover of a comic. But I, I'm looking forward to reading that when I, I have not read it, as you would imagine. Uh, here is Absolute Carnage number two. Definitely a cool book. Uh, and I also picked this one up, Marvel Comics 1000. This one was in the shop. There were probably, I don't know, they probably had eight different covers of this thing. I just picked the regular cover. I still have a variant cover that is coming to me, but I picked up the regular cover because I, I do want to read it. And uh, I'm glad to honestly see Marvel do the right thing with this comic in the sense that it is an 80 page book. And instead of doing the wrong thing, they did the right thing. They used heavier cardstock and they also did a square bounds on this thing. If you remember Amazing Spider-Man 800, 80 pages, they actually treated it like a regular comic book with just two staples in the side and that resulted in a ton of frame. But this 80 pages, they did square bound, which was the way to do it. This is the right thing to do. Shout out to you, Marvel, for, uh, for getting it right. 
the next, the rest of these books are just straight X-Men. <laughs> it is straight X-Men. And like I said, many of them are dated. I actually picked this up. This is the Seeds of Tomorrow book. This was the free book that was given away several weeks ago. I picked this one up because it is by far the cleanest version of this free comic that I have been able to find in the wilds. I have two other copies. One of them was a reader copy. One was a file copy. And the file copy was still a little rough. This one is actually pretty solid. So definitely pleased to have picked up a, a nice copy of that book. Here is uh, House of X number, I'm sorry, House, yeah, House of X number two. Really cool cover. Here is House of X number three, the variant cover. I had not seen this one, but the shop owner dropped it in my box. So I went ahead and took that one. Here is House of X issue number three, the regular cover. Here is Powers of 10, issue number one. I haven't been to the shop in a while. <laughs> here is Powers of 10, issue number two. And then here is number three. So that is essentially my little haul. And as I mentioned to you guys, I actually was able to go through a couple of long boxes earlier today in one of the shops from some collections, one of which is a collection that has already been purchased, and one of them is a collection that is in the process of being purchased. And so I was able to go through both of those long boxes. I was able to pull out uh, a couple of books that I'm interested in pick, picking up. And so once the deal is done, the books are going to be graded, uh, they're going to be priced, and then I'll know whether they are coming home with me or not. And I'm going to tell you, I was super, super tempted to pick up a couple of extra books. There were a couple of Eternals comics in one of the bins, and I was tempted to grab it, but I already have almost two full sets. Uh, and then I have like five copies of issue number two. So it was a thing of like, how many copies does one really need of a comic, you know? So sorry about the noise. Uh, this is a book that arrived just the other day. And this is actually the Go Collect giveaway. Uh, so I thought you guys would be interested in seeing this. We're gonna unwrap this thing and we are going to show what's inside. And then I am going to give you the phrase that you need to know in order to add this comic to your collection. And um, this is a cool book. This, this is cool. I have never held this book before. I don't even know if I've seen this book before. This is a cool book. That's one of the great things about this is that uh, I get to buy these books uh, to to experience them. And unfortunately, I have to give them away, but it's a cool thing to be able to at least check these books out. I think this one is really, really cool. So um, the book that is going to be given away this week as part of the Go Collect giveaway is Flash 139. This is the book that is going to be given away to one lucky subscriber of the channel. And just as a reminder, the way that you win is that you are going to hear a phrase in just a moment. You capture that phrase, you head over to the community tab, you find the post that I've written out where I talk about this particular book, you click the link, you go to MailChimp, you enter three pieces of information. Two of them are personal to you and one of them is the phrase that I'm about to give you. Once you key that in, you are basically in the contest. And the only requirements are that you be a subscriber of the channel, a resident of the United States, a resident of Canada, or have a mail-in address in the U.S. That's it. That's pretty much it. And you can actually win this book. You then tune into the Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs every single uh, Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time to find out if you're the winner. That's it. And so this book right here is Flash 139. It is a 3.0 and it actually has a light tan to off-white pages. Uh, this is a pretty awesome book. It is a 12 cent book. It is the origin and first appearance of Professor Zoom, the reverse Flash. How cool is that? It is definitely a cool cover. And the phrase that you need to know is Professor Zoom. Two words. Professor Zoom, Z-O-O-M. That is the phrase. And if you are able to click on that link and plug in your information, this book could potentially be yours. Good luck.